Hi, I'm back. Okay, yeah, that's my intro because I'm tired already. I just filmed an entire video and realized my fucking footage was corrupted. So, hello. Thank you for coming. This is going to be my dorm tour slash tutorial because I guess that's what it turned into. Um, yeah. <laughs> Yes, look at that. Don't look at my mess. So my desk is a bit messy right now, but I did take away some things. Um, my charger cord is here because I only have one cube, which I need to buy another one, but I keep forgetting to. And then there's my ID right there. Don't try to look at the numbers. It's really fucked up if you do that. Um, <laughs> I left kind of the basic things here, like my vidquincita and like the little thing that I bought at the thrift store. My water bottles, that one's for drinking and that one's for um, my sopas because I put the nasty water that they have here. Another tip, if you come to the dorms and coming just from Jen and from me, buy your own fucking water. The water here is disgusting. Yeah. <laughs> it's... Britta does not fucking help. The, the Brita doesn't and, help. And, mm -hmm. I think it would just be cheaper if you and all your roommates buy the water jug like you want to do and you have that shit set up and then you literally just get water. Yeah, um, and just buy like the little like faucet. Yeah. Yeah. So we're trying to get the like the little faucet that goes on top, and then we can just fill up our water bottles. And if we want it cold, we can always just you know put it in the fridge or like buy like reusable ice cubes if that's like a thing that someone wants to do, which is probably what I'm gonna do. But you know. Um. So yeah, get your own water. Water bottles are pretty neat because you don't have to have a water bottle because you can just bring them, but they do cost kind of a mess. Because I have like bags filled with water bottles that I just take home because I recycle. Um, so, pretty good. Um, and then I already talked about that. But yeah, here's my bed again. Well, technically the first time because I'm not showing the other video. But yeah, there's my bed. If you're planning to bring every stuffed animal that you have, don't fucking do it. They get in your fucking way. Um, yeah, so there's Jeremy, there's No Name, there's, Bear, there's Barry, and there's Fart. Don't ask me why that's their names. Just accept it. So I still have my little light here. I got this at Walmart. It's very cute. Every time we have karaoke, this is our rave lights. So that's pretty chill, pretty chill. So anyway, I moved half the shit on my desk because I kept running into things when I was doing homework and I put my computer right here. So I moved half my shit to here. Don't look at my dirty plates. So I moved my stuff and I put stickers on them to make them a little cuter, to make them more me, I put little stickers. Um, and then I stole chopsticks from the cafe or the express or whatever the fuck it's called because they don't need it, they have enough money. Buy smelly things, like things that smell good because your room, your room, stop it. Your room will probably smell like shit. I don't think our room smelled like shit, but I like I got an uneasy feeling every time I would walk into the room and I wouldn't smell anything, cause it's like you know how you get used to the smell. Yeah. So it's like my biggest fear is that this room actually smells like shit and we cannot smell it. So I bought little fragrance things. Um, I would buy the wall plugins, which I probably am gonna do soon, like buy the wall plugins so I can smell good like for a good amount of time. But these, you know, kept it smelling pretty good for like a week. So that was that was pretty chill. Um, right now I can show you Tiff's side. I'm gonna move her stuff because she did leave clothes on there. And I know if I were her and she were me, I wouldn't want someone to show that. She brought these fucking drawers and she has all her neat stuff in there. So I'm jealous of her, but it's okay because I know what I'm about. I'm poor. Um, if you don't want me to be poor anymore, like, I'm subscribed. <laughs> I'm gonna make a t shirt that says that. Anyway. <laughs> This is my roommate's side that I didn't show because she took all her bedding and washed it at her house. So yeah, 
She is the funniest person I fucking know because she will speak French at, a, at like random intervals. Um, and her fucking sheets say Paris, so I think that's the most funny thing ever. Yeah, I did leave it on the other side. Anyway, so this has pillows. My planner that I've never used once. Yes. All my ligas and like bandanas and clips. Yeah. Anyway, my ukulele trash can. Don't look at it. There's trash in there. But that's like the purpose. <laughs> my cosmetics. My desk. Yes. Yoga mat. I haven't done yoga or Pilates, which is bad. You do yoga? Yeah. And Whoa. then here's this like dream catcher. <laughs> Hashtag good night rest. Here's my bed. Got that mattress topper. Yeah, oh my god, oh yeah, I remember we showed that. <laughs> we did, we did this. Like, the yeah. snuts. Anyway, here's my lip duck. His name is Cuddles, he's the best. <laughs> Tapestry, these leaves that are bitch. Book cart, ooh. Book, book cart, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, here's my wall with photos. Anyway, here's my closet. <laughs> you can look in. That's where you keep my other clothes. Hostages. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, my water that's empty. I got another jug today. Finished it in thirty minutes. <laughs> um, here's my like more clothes. My dresser. That's a seashell that literally a person I met this year brought to me from San Diego. So sweet. Anyway, here's my mirror. <laughs> and that's it. <laughs> but I'm gonna show you the bathroom. Okay, give me a sec. Welcome to my bathroom. Here's the first tip of the bathrooms. Lock the fucking door. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna give you guys what, the, you know, you just spin around, you can kind of see it already. But the basic thing is kind of like cubicles, I guess, really, not really. Um, they're kind of like public bathroom-esque, like there's a little lock, so if you guys don't want to lock your um, door when you're peeing, so your roommates can come in here and like, there's two faucets. So your uh, roommates can come in here while you're doing that. I'm not going to show you the toilet, but it's just like a regular toilet. Um, I would buy garbage cans. You can flush the toilet paper down this thing, but you need to bring your own toilet paper and your own garbage cans. And I am going to show you the shower because that's what everyone came here to see. So we did buy this so we can, you know, hold all our stuff. Mm, and it's like down it did break, but um, I recommend getting one or something to put in the shower for all your things because it's kind of annoying to have to leave and like come here like you can put your shower caddy here which buy a shower caddy um you can put your shower caddy here but you know it's not that great and they also have a towel thing but ours is broken so we put it up here um but yeah that's what the shower looks like it's a little thing you spin it all the way it gets really really warm so it's pretty good pressure is pretty good um but yeah just anything that you think that you need for a bathroom i would get it because it literally only has the essentials so yeah now this is kind of like a vlog slash like tutorial on how to live your life, but um, <laughs> but um, Rowdy said yes. Rowdy said yes. <laughs> I fucking hate that. Said yes. I love lanyards. So okay, here's why I'm gonna talk about lanyards, and I'll move on to roommates. Lanyards are really helpful. I like lanyards. I put them around my neck like you're supposed to. My issue is that I put a lot of junk on my lanyard. I'd like, yeah, so what I would do if you were me and I were you, I would not carry this much shit on your lanyard. Essentials would probably be your pepper spray. Please buy pepper spray or some form of self-defense item. I won't guarantee you'll need it because this school's pretty safe. Like, there's usually people out. There's usually police cars around, you know, like to keep you safe and there's a bunch of like places where you can like ring the this button where like people will come to you in like less than three minutes i think and they'll walk you to your, your apartment your class or what i mean not your apartment but like your dorm or whatever if you feel like unsafe um but yeah big things would definitely be your pepper spray your little thing to carry your id and maybe your earbuds your airpods if you don't carry them somewhere else but those are kind of the big three essential things that um i would carry with you i don't know if you guys know this but um if you lose your id you can just get it replaced but if you live in the dorms and like you're living here like you're not really leaving um you're gonna have your runner bucks on there which is like just money that you put on there that they don't let you take out it's like starbucks but like worse 
um, <laughs> and your meal points. <laughs> so if you lose your ID card, someone has access to your meal points and your runner points, which they, they don't know how much. Well, I mean, there's machines to check, but like, you know, why risk it? So first thing you want to do is deactivate your card, right? If you can't find it, deactivate your card. Um, second thing you want to do is go to the front office if like they're open, because I know my roommate had trouble with that because they were closed when she would go. Um, go to the front office and ask for a temp key because you're going to be locked out of your room, obviously, in the building. So ask for a temp key and from there you just go and get your um, thing replaced. To avoid this um, and you keep your key in your lanyard, please, please, please wear your lanyard normally because my roommate would just stuff it in her pocket or like tie around her pants, I think. I don't know. I think you would just stuff it in your pocket. And it would constantly fall and it, like she would constantly drop it and, and finally it dropped for the last time and she lost it. So please, please, please. If you're gonna use lanyard, if it's not like a clip-on, like short one that you're that's supposed to be on your waist, please wear it normally. Like you're gonna lose your shit, and that's like one of the worst feelings ever. I'm salty because I spent twelve dollars on that fucking lanyard, and someone took it. Well, I told you so. In my triple, you know, obviously there's three fucking people, including me, and we get along just fine. Like if I were you and you were me, I would get along with the people in your room primarily. The other room comes as a second thought, but you should also try to get along with them. Just, like, issue-wise, try not to cause issues. Like, try not to be... Try not to be a problem. This was kind of like a dorm tour and, like, tutorial, I guess. I don't know. Um, but, yeah. So, maybe I'll do a update or maybe I'll do, like, a day in the life freshman CSUB student. I'm not sure yet, but I am making this my entire personality because I'm going to be here forever. Not forever. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. Watch my other videos, I guess. No, don't watch my other videos. Like and subscribe if you don't want me to be poor anymore because I'm trying to get an apartment and I'm struggling. Oh, yeah. So you have, there's a lot of resources here. So if you're really confused, it literally just search up to YouTube and there's like a bunch of information there. But, you know, YouTube is always the best place to come. And for dorms, there's nothing other than like a few videos. So like, you're welcome. Not really, but like, just saying, I'm from a big town. I'm from, well, it's not a fucking town. Why did I say town? I'm from a big city. I'm from San Diego. And I have to tell you, it's definitely a fucking change from San Diego to Bakersfield. But I like it. And it works for me. And I like the environment so far. It's only been like a month. So if you're like worried about moving and going somewhere far away from home, I just say do it. Because I don't regret it so far. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> if you're not far away from Bakersfield, you're literally in Bakersfield, and you're like, no, I don't want to be in the hometown. Suck it up, bitch. Get your shit together.